Slim fit wall mount 2023, this time on a S95C Samsung OLED. But the reason I've picked the S95C OLED is it's only 11 millimeters thick. I'm gonna set it up with a 7.5 mil gap configuration. So all in all, this should only stand off the wall 18 and a half mil to the front of the TV. So it should look super slim and sleek. I'm gonna do it my own way and explain as I go along. I have used this bracket before on previous models. So we have left and right there. As you're looking at the back of the TV, then the two plates that go on the wall as well, which will be there and there. Then you have different bolt packs to pick from. And in the paperwork, it gives you two different arrangements, either to have a 15 mil gap, if you've got a lot of wiring and stuff behind it, or if you can get it nice and tight and your cable's neat and tidy behind it, you can go for the seven and a half mil gap. So I'm going seven and a half mil gap because this has got the one connect box anyway. It's only got one wire to the TV. And if you do want the full detailed bit about all the other stuff and the paperwork in there, click the link. Uh, don't know where it appears up there somewhere and it's got last year's and the years before where I've explained it in more detail. Top tip for these brackets is before you put it on the wall do anything like that is snap the thing into the bracket maybe a couple of times twist it out again just so it clicks down easily when you eventually put the TV up because if you don't do that first you're putting so much pressure on the TV to click it down there's a possibility of breaking it so I always do that a few times just on each side just to make it easier I'll just do it again so snap it down and that bar he says ah it was down should be all the way down here both sides and then you can twist it swap it out again and in again so at least a couple of times and it just makes it easier to do the job he says there we go so when you do get it brand new you get a sticker which probably wouldn't work on this one anyway because i've got a bit of well i've got speakers around the side that i don't want to cover but you can put a plastic sticker on there just to wave that slipping around and not mark in the back of the tv okay that is the right side so we've got the bolt there for the seven and a half mil configuration and the plastic washer so we can pop that plastic washer on or space or whatever we want to call it and just wind that screw in okay so obviously on the S95C we've got these mounts further out, but other models, and you could even fit these to a different brand of TV. I'm gonna try it on an LG G3 or something one day, but you can use it on the Visa mounts as well. The only thing that might stop you on certain TVs is if these parts become visible from above. So if the Visa mounts are high, we don't want the bracket showing at the top of it. That's the only thing that'll limit you. But effectively, you could fit this to some piece of garbage that you got from Argos or somewhere, and it would still work. Same thing for the left side with a bracket marked L. Okay. Now I'm gonna snap these into position to get the dimensions. That's that one, fold it flat. Get that about centre, this bolt here in this slot. I've positioned it centre or centrally for when I do my dimensions. Same on this side. Snap the plate on all the way, fold it down. And I'll position that centre as well. So on the wall, I'm going to draw a centre line and where I want the top of my TV. I can then measure from that centre line. I want to know in reference to this hole here, to there. Okay, so the centers between those holes is 103 centimeters. 103 centimeters divided by two is 51 and a half. The only other thing I need to know is down from the top of the TV to the center of this slot, it's about 35 millimeters from the top to that hole. From the line I've marked center of the wall, I want to go 51 and a half centimeters that way to that hole, 51 and a half centimeters to that hole, and three and a half centimeters down to the center of both holes. 
that is the top of the TV black line there that continues to there and there where the bracket's going to end up being. Centre line down there, so 51 and a half centimetres that way to the first slot I'll mark, same that way, 35 mil or three and a half centimetres down. I'm just going to make a mark here, 51 and a half centimetres across. Same the other side, 51 and a half centimetres again. So we've got the 51 and a half centimetres from the centre marked out, three and a half centimetres down, which is there. on this side. Okay, so I'll put two crosses. So bracket's going to go roughly there, spirit level on top to get it level. That in the centre of that hole, that's our reference. I'll level it up and I'll mark the holes I'm going to use. I think that should be enough. Okay, so I'll probably only use those six of those. It is important to use the appropriate fixings. I've got a chipboard wall with studs behind so I can pretty much screw straight in and they're nice and secure. Obviously, if you've got a brick wall, the supplied fixings actually aren't bad for that. PH2 screw tip and the plugs and screws provided do that nicely. Dot and dab walls or breeze block. I'd use concrete screws for that where you just drill straight in, no plug, screw them straight in and you're sorted. So always important, use the correct fixings for your wall. For this wall, I'm going to pre-drill, screw straight in with wood screws. Cool. We're all pre-drilled, ready to whack the screws in. So I'll just get two in first and then put my spirit level on top. I mean, with this bracket, you don't actually have to put it up that level. You can swing the TV about till you're right, but it just makes it easier to make it level to start with. If I put my level on top, I can just get that level and then whack the other screws straight in. Same for this side. Cool. That is it, pretty much ready to go. Just gonna have a quick tidy up and then I'll slap the TV up. Okay, so I've tried to position my camera at a side angle so we can see these bars going in. So basically, I'm going to drop the bar into the bracket there and there. I just pull it out, just heard it click down nicely, both sides, and that should just push back super, super flat. That's cool. So that should be about 17 and a half mil from back to front or from the wall to the front of the screen or less than three quarters of an inch 0 0.71 of an inch or something I think if my metric to imperials right and a tape measure so tape there yeah I'd say it's probably about 18 mil actually to be fair yeah and less than three quarters of an inch so pretty cool that is I get my one connect lead in though didn't do that did I five o'clock so now it's nicely mounted to the wall and it's pushed back flat. You can move the TV side to side just to level that off there. So there's quite a bit of room for adjustment. Also, pull it out, get whatever you want out, click it back afterwards. So again, OLED C3, 55. It's about 75 mil out there. 
compared to that 18 mil so that one comes up just past my fingernail whereas that one comes out up to my knuckle and that's quite a difference and that is all for now Goodish.